the Ecostat 2 range of intelligent thermostats uses the three-stage student profile, setback, boost, and frost modes. Most of the time, setback mode is in operation. This is typically 18 degrees C, but can be set to any temperature. If the room needs to be warmer, the occupant presses the up button. Boost mode is then activated, which raises the temperature to a preset limit for a preset period of time. 23 degrees C and 45 minutes are common settings. When the time is up, it returns to setback. If the room is empty for a longer period, typically 12 hours, Ecostat 2 enters frost mode. The heater is turned off, the temperature drops, and then Ecostat 2 protects the room by keeping it at the preset temperature, usually around 5 degrees C. This is the PRE5901 infrared programming handset. It is used to set all the parameters on the Ecostat 2 range. This video demonstrates adjustments to basic settings. The buttons on the handset we will be using are on, off, up, down, left and right, return, plus and minus, send, read and help. To switch the handset on, press and hold the on off button for about two seconds until the screen illuminates. The up down buttons navigate the menu lists, while the right or return button will enter a menu to provide further options. The left arrow will take you out of that options list. This is the home or product family screen, featuring lighting and detection for use with lighting controls, heating for use with thermostatic controls, and handset configuration. This is where the handset's contrast, brightness, and a number of other settings can be altered. Choose the family of products you wish to program. For this demonstration, we are programming a heating thermostat. Use a down button to scroll to heating and press the return button. The first option is select product. Press the return button to choose this option. The range of products will be displayed. Use a down button to move the arrow to the correct device. In this case, we are programming a PRE5000 EC2 series product. Press the right arrow again. Here you have a list of options to make navigation of settings easier. All settings is the master list and contains the times, temperatures and all the configuration settings for the Ecostat 2 range. This is only useful if you need to know all the settings within the thermostat or reset all the parameters. Basic settings group together the most commonly used features, and this is where temperature, time, and PIR values are set. The items below basic settings are for specific functions, for example, window open detect and LEDs fallback, where the brightness of the LEDs of the thermostat can be adjusted. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will enter basic settings. Here you will find the parameters for frost, setback, and boost modes. The arrow on the left denotes which item is currently selected. To change the temperature value for each of these modes, press the plus or minus buttons. You can also input a number directly using the numerical keypad. Now scroll down to the time settings. For setback, you can choose hours or minutes. This is the length of time the thermostat will remain at setback temperature before activating frost mode. Use the plus and minus button to change the values. If you require complete hours, just use the hour segment. For minutes, use the minute segment. For a combination, such as 1 hour 30 minutes, set the hours to 1 and the minutes to 30. Boost mode is set in minutes only. This is the amount of time the temperature will remain at the boost level before reverting to setback mode. Current temperature is only active if you have read the thermostat. The temperature the thermostat is currently experiencing will be displayed. Offset can be programmed so that the heater output is a few degrees higher or lower than the actual temperature. This is useful if the thermostat is on a cold wall or in close proximity to the heater. In these circumstances, thermostat readings are not a true representation of the room. The offset has increments of 0.1 degrees C. Use the plus or minus buttons to offset the thermostat. The PIR can be set to absence or presence detection. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the preferred mode. ABS is displayed for absence and PRES for presence. Timeout sets the interval before the PIR switches the heater off when no movement is detected. This only applies when absence mode is selected. 
When you have gone through this process and are happy with the settings, point the handset at the thermostat in the room and press the send button. This will send the highlighted parameter to the wall unit. To send all the parameters in the menu, press and hold the send button for two seconds or more. An audible beep lets you know that all settings have been sent to the thermostat. If received successfully, the LEDs on the thermostat will flash. If you need to find out which settings are currently installed on the thermostat, press the read button. This will tell you the selected item. Press and hold the read button and all the settings will be downloaded to the handset. If two lines appear where you expect to see digits, this means the read was unsuccessful. Press read again, positioning the handset at a different angle or closer to the thermostat until values appear in the menu. If at any time you are unsure what each parameter signifies, press the help button and this will provide an explanation. The handset will remember all the settings that are input, even when switched off. The only time they will be deleted is when the batteries are removed. For more information on the PRE5901, please download the instructions from the product detail page on our website. Prefect Controls. Cleverly simple control of energy.